Through These Doors is sponsored by Shields. They're out there. You'll find them spending countless frosty mornings crouched in blinds, fishing endless misty bays, charging up steep hills, pushing their bodies to the limit. They rise before dawn and get home past dark. No one is born a Shields expert, but it's as if some are born to be one. Shields, they have to be experts out there before we call them experts in here. Here's Osmus cranking it up, he scores! Gage Osmus with his first goal of the season for UND and it's 2-0 North Dakota. Osmus hasn't scored a goal since November 28th here against Omaha in 2014. Not 2015, 2014. The captain, Gage Osmus, gives North Dakota a 2-0 lead, rattling that big slapper off the pipes. You know, yeah, it's new to me. I don't, I'm not really, uh, you know, I'm not I'm not really experienced in the celebration, uh, you know, part of the game, but uh, I just stuck my hand up, but I didn't know what I wanted to do when I went through the line and, uh, you know, got that done and I was pretty uh, pretty happy with what, what uh, my celebration looked like. Yeah, we got to keep him, his feet on the ground. We got to. Got to make sure remember knows he knows who he is. Uh, no, but it's great to see with with Gage. You know, I think not only Gage but uh, Johnny Simonson, uh, Christian Willan, and you know some of the guys that were a little snake bit here early on, got on the score sheet. And they... Snuggerud has it. His pass picked up by Osmus. Gallops across the line. Slap shot. He scores. Oh, the rocket by the captain Gage Osmus. His second goal of the weekend, second of the season, and it's six to two North Dakota. Throwing a shorthander there for UND. You know, I was telling the guys, um, you know, 2016, 2016 me was a defensive, defensive gauge, but, uh, you know, I think 2017, it's new year, new me, and, uh, you know, um, starting the year off with uh, two goals, it's, uh, it's nice, but uh, hopefully we can uh, keep that rolling throughout the rest of the second half. It's been a busy month for the University of North Dakota hockey team. The Fighting Hawks ended the first half of the year with a series versus Western Michigan. Things were rolling on Friday night in a 5-1 win. But UND struggled again to find consistency and lost 3 to 1 on Saturday. Tyson Jost and Matej Tomek joined their respective countries over the holidays and competed in the World Junior Championships. Meanwhile, UND started 2017 off with a bang and a 3 to 1 win at Union on New Year's Eve. Taylor lost it behind the net. Oh, a centering pass, and Pagansky scores! Slides it deep into the Union zone, goes back and gets it centered to Gersich, he shoots and scores! 
Puck popped over to the right boards. Paganski flipped it and got it out of there and down the ice. It's rolling toward the goal, and it's in the goal! Oh, ho, ho! It was a vital win in the final non-conference game for UND, and it came in a crisp and convincing fashion. Solid play continued last week as North Dakota was rolling at Omaha. The Fighting Hawks scored five goals in the first period on Friday, en route to a 9-1 win. Pullman to Jost, the shot, he scores! Casey Johnson back for Yana, one-timer, he scores! Brock Besser made his return to UND's lineup after an injury and scored twice. On Saturday, the goals kept coming as the Fighting Hawks picked up the sweep with a 7-3 win and finally, a bit of consistent play. A rocket from Christian Willanen on the power play in his first goal of the season. The line, here's Jost on the near left side, circles back in behind the net. Now Wheels shoots and scores! Puck will come out the center ice, and that should just about do it. North Dakota, 16 goals on the weekend. As the horn sounded after UND's sweep in Omaha, freshman Tyson Jost finally got the chance to do one thing, relax. After winning a silver medal at the World Juniors with Team Canada on Thursday, Jost flew directly to Omaha to meet up with his UND teammates. Um, I was on about 30 minutes of sleep and played that game and then played the next night too. So, I mean, it was a, a bit of a bit of a roller coaster there for emotions and whatnot because, I mean, I fell up short in the, the gold medal game and it was, I mean, it was pretty uh, pretty devastating and something I dreamed about. And I mean, it kind of sucked that, uh, that we couldn't get that gold medal with, with Team Canada. But, I mean, coming back to, to seeing all the boys here in, in Grand Forks and, and getting to see them after Christmas, it was pretty exciting. And they definitely did a great job. It just kind of... Um, uh, walking me through things, I guess you could say, and um, helping me forget what happened the, the night before. And, and Joe's played in four games at a very high level on four straight nights. Yeah, it was a lot of hockey, and it's definitely uh, definitely tiring on the body for sure, but I mean, it's something that I was totally up to do, and it's something that I love to do is play hockey, so and what's better than playing all those games, and like I said, coming coming back to North, North Dakota here in, in Grand Forks and putting on that jersey again, it was definitely exciting, and to do it with this team, it was, it was pretty awesome. Jotes said it was an emotional roller coaster. A meeting up with his UND teammates on Friday provided an extra boost of energy for the weekend. Down here, it's, it's a family, and everybody cares so much about each other. And I mean, we just want to want the best for everybody down here. And I mean, it's awesome to see. So yeah, like I said, I was I was definitely drained mentally and physically. I was pretty tired, but when I came here, I got that boost of energy. And that connection with UND was apparent the first time Joe stepped into Ralph Engelstead Arena. You just look around here and all the culture and the tradition that comes along with being a part of this program. I think that uh, kind of stands out very quickly when you come and visit here and realize that right away when I came on my official visit, just how much everybody cares about each other and how it is a family. And I think that's something that's so huge about a hockey team is just being a part of that. And I mean, when you, when you are a part of it, it's something that's really fun and it's something that means a lot to you for sure. Many talented Canadian players chose to play juniors. Instead, Jost chose the NCAA and North Dakota following the path of his favorite player, Jonathan Taves. You know, when we went through the recruiting process with Tyson, uh, you know, we saw a lot of very similar uh, characteristics that uh, Jonathan Taves had, uh, not only on the ice, but off the ice. Uh, you know, a tremendous hockey player, uh, plays the right way. Um, uh, as far as leader off the ice, uh, captain-like characteristics, and, uh, you know, obviously there's uh, there's a coincidence that uh, you know that's his favorite player too. So uh, uh, you know he had a lot of different options going forward as far as uh, not only collegiately but major junior too. And uh, he found that going through North Dakota was his best development path. And uh, and again he's flourishing uh, on the start of his college career here. Jost, who last year was selected number ten overall in the NHL draft by the Colorado Avalanche, has made an immediate impact on the ice and in the UND locker room. He's an A-plus person. I think he's the youngest guy on our team right now, but uh, he brings a great leadership uh, leadership qualities to the to the locker. You no, know, he brings so much to uh, so much to the team. He's he's good at everything, and uh, 
he competes really hard and uh, obviously has a ton of high-end skills. So uh, he's someone that uh, it's fun to play with and uh, you know when you're at the rink with him it's, it's fun because he works so hard and he, he kind of feeds on to everyone so it makes everyone everyone better. It's great having him back and uh, he's obviously a great player like he got, he's got so much skill but he's got so much character and he works really really hard so uh, just a uh, real, real great team guy. When you come to visit this place and you, you see the rink and you see all the fans and you see the support that you get throughout the community from, from, uh, from this community here it's something that just means so much and I mean the facilities that they have here and the coaching staff and just how professional it is it's something that's really hard to say no to so when I came and visited here when I mean I was 15 16 years old it's something that uh, right away I knew that I wanted to be a part of this program and I mean I, I can't say to make the wrong decision I think I love my time here so much and I know it was one of the best decisions of my life Side. 